All right, so sci-fi tank sound design. Let's take a look at what I came up with for this clip and we'll break it down from there. Each of the sounds in this project can be broken down into four different layers. Motor, pneumatic, heavy metal, and light metal. Let's start with the opening sounds. You can see at the start of the video that the tank is moving itself into position. To create that metallic rattling sound uh, of a motor moving in such a large machine, I threw a toothbrush into a filing cabinet. After some EQ and distortion, it sounds like this. The other sound here is the pneumatic air compressors. For this sound, I recorded a bike pump. I pan these sounds around to create a sense of space and help separate it from the motor sound. Adding EQ and reverb helps position the sound further back and blend better with the rumbling motor. Let's listen to them together again. The next shot of this short clip changes the perspective of the scene. We move from seeing the whole tank to just one of its legs coming down. The focus has shifted to the leg so we can hone in on its specific and detailed sounds. For this, I imagined hearing a small motor in the leg as its mechanical components unfurl. This is the drill sound I recorded for this small motor. After some more EQ and distortion, here's how it sounds. This small motor sound acts as a sustaining background layer for the clunking metallic hits we'll put on top of it. Now let's take a look at the heavy metal sounds for the leg. The recorded material for these heavy metal sounds includes a toaster, an Instapot, and a filing cabinet. Each of these sound sources already have a clunky and metallic ringing sound. To make them sound even grittier, I used distortion. For these sounds, I have lots of distortion, compression, and a bit of convolution, which all helps to beef it up. Let's take a listen to the metal sounds of the leg, including the toaster, instapot, and filing cabinet. I wanted to emphasize when the metal foot finally comes down in this clip. For this cadence point, I added an additional distorted hit. It has a metallic ringing sound that comes from just striking the cabinet. And after adding some distortion, All right, now that we've gone over the heavy metal sounds, let's take a listen to the full section again. Now let's talk about the light metal sounds. If we take a look at the video again, there's these metal toes that lock into place as the leg is moving. I decided to add a high-pitched metal sound to fit with these toes moving into place. The light metal sounds comprise of one main sound source, a stapler. Using different recordings of the stapler, I panned them around the sonic space. I once again added distortion individually to each one to thicken the sound. Let's hear the light metal with these effects again. All right, let's take a listen to this whole shot again with the leg moving down. I've also added in the motor and the pneumatic pump. Let's talk about the final scene of the video. Here we see the tank from the back, and naturally the sound design has shifted accordingly. There is a new motor sound here which follows the tank as it rises up. This sound was recorded from a car seat motor. By this point, you know the drill. Add some distortion and a touch of reverb to thicken the sound.
For this sound, I decided to add a subtle pitch shift, which increases as the tank rises. Be careful not to go too far with the pitch shifting, as it can sound somewhat comedic when used in excess. Alright, and for the final little bit now. For fun, I added some sounds to the cannon shot at the end of the clip. Let's break this one down. The first sound here is a synthesized riser. I automated a simple low-pass filter on the synth to give it the impression of the gun heating up. This acts as the crescendo into the cannon shot. The gun sound itself is from a free online sound library. Link is provided in the description. To round it out, I added a low impact sound to the initial gunshot. Helps thicken it and make it sound more like a tank firing. And that's that. Let's listen to the full sound design again. Alright, thanks for watching.